I'm Matt Albright. Uh, I'm a student at the U of A and also in uh, contracted work here at Geodecor. I have a fascination with fossils. Uh, dinosaurs are cool, trilobites, things like that, very old stuff. Um, I'm a geology student, so it's more or less second nature to me. A huge benefit of this relationship that we have with Geodecor is that it gives our undergraduate students access to some opportunities that they wouldn't have otherwise. Last fall, some of the representatives from Geodecor contacted me as the person teaching paleontology at the U of A to ask if we had any students who were interested in doing an internship at Geodecor. And the tips of the fin. We find that by putting together a program using our facility and offering an opportunity to learn how to use the tools and the methodologies that we employ for this, uh, working with the University of Arizona would, would have been a perfect opportunity. So we approached them and at this point we couldn't have been happier. Compared to the U of A, um, you don't work directly with fossils there. You, you look in a textbook or at online documents, uh, labs, things like that. Uh, but you never work directly on the fossil. Um, here at Geodecor, um, you work directly with the fossils. You, you're working hands-on. And that's something that cannot be stressed enough, that it's, it's wildly different. And I think that it should be a necessity. The sheer um, volume and variety of fossil specimens that are being worked on at Geodecor uh, you know, rivals probably most museum collections. So this is an opportunity that students would not get anywhere else. Bottom, is it plugged? We can provide an opportunity for students to go outside of the classroom to learn actually field techniques as well as lab techniques that would never be offered at the university and I'll possibly find someone that would be interested in moving more into paleontology than geology since there's very limited paleontology classes available at DU. The process begins in the field with the collection of fossils. Now we don't bring the interns in until we bring the fossils back to our labs here in Tucson. Once we bring them into the lab, then we have curatorial activities that need to be taken in order to preserve the integrity of the piece as it comes out of the ground and make sure it's kept together in context with the other specimens that were found at the same site. This is what this are. This is nature's puzzle. When it comes out of the ground, it's broken in thousands of pieces. It's important that all of those pieces are kept together so that when we finally do the preparation and the mounting, everything is in its proper context. So from the time we do the curatorial to the actual preparation, this is where we've started with this internship program. Now an intern will receive a box of bones like this and at first may feel a little bit intimidated. I've been working mainly with one fossil of a dinosaur called Hippacrosaurus. It's a hadrosaur, that's a duck-billed dinosaur. I've been working uh, cleaning the bone, uh, restoring the bone, uh, mostly ribs, uh, vertebrae. The most challenging thing that uh, I deal with, uh, probably on a weekly basis, is the fragility of the bones. Certain bones are, are naturally more fragile than others. Here we have three consecutive neck vertebrae. You can see I've actually learned some tricks to doing bone restoration and cleaning. Uh, it's not all just like, oh, I'll just remove it. There are tricks. You're able to utilize certain methods to clean the bone faster or uh, more gently. When you have a bone, you have to remove the matrix, and that's like the mud and stuff that's caked on the outside. To do that, you use a variety of tools, including an air abrasion machine uh, and some air tools that look like needle points that push air through them. And so what you do is you lightly go over a bone and you basically clean it. Kind of loosen that up a little bit. Well, the skills that they learn are certainly going to be archival techniques in terms of preserving fossils, but also the techniques that are used to prepare fossils and mount fossils until they're ready for either exhibition or, or a public sale. But also, these techniques sometimes take months or up to years to learn. But being able to call through a number of people uh, with, that have an interest rather than just someone that's looking for a paycheck. We would like to find someone that not, is not only here for the money, but here for the experience and for the excitement of working with things that come from the ground that are millions of years old. I came in here and I had no experience working with bones. I mean, most people don't. Uh, it's not really a usual job, but 
uh, after coming in here, I feel a lot more confident if I was to be a paleontologist, something along those lines, or anthropologist working with pottery of you know Native American things out here. You know, it's it's very interesting. It's different, uh, but I think that it it's it's amazing.